welcome back. This is Boss Good Win episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm joined as always by my trusty squad of Radia Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Edge. When we last left off, I said we were going to go into this cave here. I lied. That is our destination eventually. That is the sealed cave that they've been talking about. But we want to do some other things first. We need to head over here first. If you do not have Rosa at level 35, you, you, you want to do that now. We are in the land of monsters. I came here on my way from the land of summoned monsters. Let's ask for help from, from them, I, I, I guess. First things first, there are tiles on each of these floors that can hurt you, hurt you by quite a bit, 50 per tile. You want to cast Float on everybody, that's why Rosa needs to be level 35, so that those things don't hurt you. <laughs> Concept! Let's go over here and grab ourselves a chest. Very easy to spot there, a cure to in there. Uh, I believe all these glowing red things are the ones that hurt you, so avoid those if you can. And first we've got a conjurer. Of course you call. You call a huge naga. Uh, let's see. I want to hit the huge naga. And then you can aim for the conjurer. The conjurer is definitely who I'm going for the most right now. Um, fire. Let's go with fire. Why not? And then jump. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Luckily, you did on Kane, and that's not too bad for me because he can heal himself right back with it. Mute didn't work. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Go fight the Naga. Fight the Conjurer mostly, though. 196? Are you kidding me? Kane, what the hell? No, no, no. Oh, damn, you hit hard. Aim, kill. Poison! I'll, I'll take it, I guess. But, like, seriously, we need to do more damage than that. Let's go for lightning. Why not lightning? Damn it! That is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I thought, I thought we were going to do more damage, to be honest with you. Hit the conjurer again. Until it is dead. Just to keep on doing that. Now the Naga is the only one alive. It shouldn't pose that much more of a problem for us, but we do want it to die nonetheless. 720 is for the win. Down goes the huge Naga again. We get 955 gil, 2180 experience. Edge gains a level because of it. Now let's grab this treasure chest over here, get ourselves a life potion, and... I swore I saw... Okay, maybe I didn't see it. But if we head over here, we can grab another Ether 1. I swore... Yeah, okay, that must be like the floor below that I can see down there. Really? Fine. Are you going to summon anything different? You do! It's a clapper! <laughs> can I clap it off? That'd be great if I could do that. Once again, aim for the one in the back. Uh, we're going to need to do... God, shouldn't ice work? Shouldn't ice work against the Kalapa? We're gonna jump on the one in the back. Blitz! Oh snap, you're using Edge's technique against him. Of course, he does have Blitz, but that's way too expensive for me to be using right now. Why didn't ice work? Damn it. I thought I had this game down. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It just continues to prove me wrong. Aim for the one in the back. Damn, you hit hard. Blitz again. Ha! <laughs> wow, it missed. I didn't even know Blitz could miss. Apparently, I don't know as much about this game as I thought I did. Alright, let's go for uh, fire. Why not fire? Since apparently ice isn't good enough against a lizard like it always has been in the past. What do I know, though? What do I know? Jump on the one in the back. Okay, jump on the clapper then. That's exactly what I meant. Go, fire! Okay, it's not very weak to magic, apparently. Otherwise, my last option is, uh... Ugh, fine. My last option is lightning, and I don't think it is weak to lightning, to be honest with you. You missed! Damn it, how could you miss? Can you, uh... 
Can you change it? That'd be great. This actually should be enough for the victory. No! Still not enough! I mean, he's, he's using lightning... Okay, yeah, Blitz doesn't work. He's using lightning as... As his attack, I assume he's not weak to it. Let's just aim to f try to finish this guy off. Still not enough. This guy is tough, man. This guy is tough. Alright, we'll go for, uh... Seriously, still? Can we piggy? No, piggy is what we tried. Let's go for Toad. Still not enough. What? What are you made of? You're made of steel, dragon. We get 1,375 gil, 2,340 experience. Nobody levels up, though. Kind of disappointed about that. One step. Really? One step? And, of course, it's summoned a rock moth, which is a new enemy. I thought it only... I, I figured, to be honest with you, that it wouldn't summon this something new this time. But I was wrong. Jump! Jump on the conjurer! And apparently bugs aren't really weak to fire either. What the hell, game? It's green, it's a bug, it should die to fire. That's that's all the logic I require. No, no, no powder. Oh, I think he's dark? Did it get rid of his float? Better not have gotten rid of his float. Don't you... No, you're on that, that's right. Let's just cure... Uh... Cassel, why not? I swear, fire should be super effective against a bug that's green. Whatever. I'm using my Pokemon logic again. Don't you, don't you cast darkness on anybody? Else? It looks like darkness to me. I assume it is darkness. Okay, now, oh crap, we did this wrong again. <laughs> Damn it, we need to kill the conjurer first. What part of that? So hard to understand. Kill the conjurer. Finally, we did it kind of right. All right, 790 gil. And Cecil's floating again. 1380 experience. As soon as I try to cut one out. Oh, we get the cure staff. Nice. I might actually equip that right now. Okay, he's still blinded. Don't you have... Yeah, you have sight. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I think it is. There we go. You can have... You can have that. Okay. Now, Rosa... Let's... Since you're low on arrows, because I've been using them too damn much... You can't use the cure staff! Can Ryder use the cure staff? I kind of liked her changing things around. She can't. She can use the chain and whip. Apparently nobody can use... What the hell? Maybe, maybe if I put it in the right hand. Maybe if I unequip one of them. Like, seriously. There we go. There. It took forever to figure out, but I got it. Cure staff equipped. Alright, so let's head over to the left now. More conjurers. Okay, I'll keep you in. You gonna summon something new? Are you kidding me? Everybody focus on the conjurer. The imp is no big deal. Go! Cure staff! Let's see how much damage that does. You just, uh... You just change... Okay, I should have done that on everybody, but still. You, you just change. You don't waste magic on this fight. Just take out the conjurer. I didn't see how much the cure staff did. Damn it, I need to start paying attention to the game when I'm doing things. Okay, let's try that again. Cure staff, everybody. And then, uh, you want to see how weak this imp is? I know it's been a while since we've seen one, but still, yeah. There we go. 66 damage. Down he goes. 485 gil, 744 experience. Kane gains a level. Awesome. So, we need to head left, like I said, pretty much because that's the only other way we can go. But we've got red eyes in our way. We've got night flights, apparently. Oh, damn, that's a, that's a whole lot of damage that you're doing to my flying mage. Damn. Damn! 
Alright, you need to cure Cecil immediately because he might die because he keeps on covering. Alright, go... Uh, go ice, why not? Gaze! Oh, crap. That, that makes Kane sweat, apparently. <gasps> no, not the infamous sweat! Alright, uh, cure two on Rydia there. Unless that's enough for the victory, of course it is. Down go the red eyes. We get 930 gil, 1400 experience. And hold on while I heal Rydia up a bit. With that done, we are free to move on yet again. I don't have to worry about the glowing tiles. I hope you guys can see the difference here. This is this is a clear one, but this one here is bright red. So we need to head out of here to the next level. And yes, every floor you need to recast float. I don't know why, but stairs give you minus 100 to floating apparently. So you need to cast it every time you go to a new floor.